today we're up here in Rochester, Minnesota, and we have to fly the TBM 850 down to Elizabethton, Tennessee. Start it up, give him the sign, let him know we're gonna wind up. Starter's on, we're watching the NG for a rise up, it's gonna stabilize, introduce the fuel to low idle. Now we're keeping an eye on the ITT for hot start, NG for hung starts. Those are the two common failures you'll have in the startup cycle. Echo. Rochester Ground, good afternoon. TBM 851 Tango Bravo over at Signature with Echo and Tango Bravo. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Rochester Ground, cleared to the Zero Alpha Niner Airport as filed, climb maintain 5000. Expect flight level 29010 zero, zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.8, squawk 7054. Clear down to Zero Alpha Niner as filed, maintain 5000, expect 290 10 minutes after. 19.8 on departure frequency, squawking 7054, no ray 51 Tango Bravo. TBM1 Tango Bravo, read back correct. No ray of taxi over at Signature with information echo, no ray 51 Tango Bravo. TBM1 Tango Bravo, runway 31, taxi via Juliet Alpha, cross runway 2. The runway 31, Juliet Alpha, cross runway 2, no ray 51 Tango Bravo. All right, we got our clearance, give the quick flash of the taxi light, let the marshal know we're ready to taxi, and off we go. Letting us know we need to go straight. Okay, and now we go left. Alright, I'd like to welcome everybody on board. It's an exciting day today. We're up here in Rochester, Minnesota. We're going to do an IFR flight down to Elizabethton, Tennessee. Flight time today is projected to be just over two hours at two hours and nine minutes. We're going to go up to a flight level of 290 for our cruise altitude. Coming up here in runway two, clear to the left and clear to the right. And we're giving our clearance to be able to taxi across. Always double check just to be safe. Rochester Ground, good afternoon, exit jet 304, we're over at the uh, signature. At the terminal uh, left, our left wing over there, Singapore, Delta Clinton, Connections Tango, there. Yankee, Rolling up here to the hold short line and we'll go over to tower. Rochester Tower, good afternoon, TBM 851 Tango Bravo, hold short at 31. 
EBM 851 Tango Bravo Rochester Tower Flyer, runway heading runway 31, clear for takeoff, wind 27017. Clear for takeoff, runway 31, we'll fly runway heading runway 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, we're giving our takeoff clearance. Final looks clear. They're down the runway. Elizabethton, Tennessee, here we come. I'll line up here on center line. Have a left crosswind on this takeoff. All right, use the power here. Take off power. Take off power is set. Well, temperatures, pressures all look good in the green. Hold in our crosswind correction here. And we're pushing a lot with our right leg right now with the rudder to keep this on center line. Watching the airspeed build up, there's our rotation speed. Got a long runway here. Tap the brakes. And we'll go gear up. Now that we're running out of usable runway, we're going to put it back down for any reason. Gear is up and indicating up. So it flaps up and yaw damper on. But now, pushing the yaw damper, the airplane won't yaw around so much. More, more comfortable ride. EBM, one Tango Bravo, contact departure. Our departure, one Tango Bravo, have a good day. That's just our departure, good afternoon, TBM 851 Tango Bravo, 2000, climbing to 5000, runway we heading? TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Rochester, departure, radar contact, turn left on course, climb maintain 15000. Left down course, up to 15,000, November 851, Tango Bravo. All right, we have 15,000 set up in the altitude selector, and we're going to turn left down course here. Oh, wow, good view of all the farmlands down here in Minnesota. I don't normally make it this far north that often, so it was a lot of fun coming up here. At the airport off our left wing. All right, we're going to roll out here on course, and we'll put the autopilot on. All right, there we go. On course, we'll go do a fresh direct enter-enter to get us to our first fix, which is Viking. And we'll go IS mode, autopilot on. Now the airplane will pitch right for 140 knots. We're going to go into 850 mode. So we'll pull the power just under 100%. Flap lever goes up and over the gate. We'll also turn off our inertial separator. Now we just got to be careful with this airplane. The torque is going to rise. You just wouldn't want to over torque the engine. So if the torque is uh, rising up. We'll just pull it back a little bit and have it settle right around 115% on the torque. It's a windy day out down there. It was gusting a 2 2. Once we get up above a little bit higher here, it'll smooth it out for us. You guys got your seatbelts on, right? So, mission no factor. There we go. We just went right above that little cloud layer here, and now we have nice smooth air. Put the uh, armrest down and get comfortable here. Take off the shoulder harnesses. That's authorized. Just got to keep the lap belt on. And we'll adjust our pressurization down here. Get it set up for a cruise altitude. Get that all set up. Look down here at the iPad, you'll see there we are, we just took off. This will be our routing today. Going down direct to Viking. we will be going just to the west of Chicago. And on down into Elizabethton. Pretty direct route. Weather should be pretty decent for this leg. CBM 1 Tango Bravo, contact Minneapolis Center, 118.85. 118.85, 1 Tango Bravo, good day. Minneapolis Center, good afternoon. TBM 85, 1 Tango Bravo, 10,000, climbing to 15,000, direct Viking. Right, I have one Tango Bravo, Minneapolis Center, climb and maintain flutter with 230. Climb and maintain flutter 230, one Tango Bravo. I like how the first fix we're going to is called Viking. Any of you guys know the Minnesota Vikings, it's the uh, NFL football team, and I know a lot of people watch my channel all around the world, the uh, NFL football team, the Minnesota Vikings. So it's kind of cool that they have a Viking fix here, even though I'm a Green Bay Packer fan. So as we climb, the torque is going to keep decreasing and we can keep increasing 
pushing the torque up until we get temp limited with the ITT. Turbo props up high, you'll be temp limited, and down low you'll be torque limited for the most part. The other thing you have to worry about is your NG. You don't want to over NG your is, engine. Uh, Beautiful view out there, left wing there. All right, we're just about to pass through our transition altitude into the flight levels. This area being, uh, we'll push the standard button, zero mile which will go 2992 on our altimeters. Ray 51 Tango Bravo, uh, can I take Minneapolis Center 134.25? 3425, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Minneapolis Center, good afternoon, TVM 851 Tango Bravo, 200, climb to 230, direct Viking. 851 Tango Bravo, Minneapolis Center, come in, team follow 290. Come in, team follow 290, 1 Tango Bravo, thanks. We are now cleared up to our cruise altitude, 290. Got that set up in our altitude pre-selector, now the yeah, autopilot. It's going to continue right up to that, and it'll level out. And we'll let the airplane build up some speed, and then we'll set our cruise power. So I fly this airplane, the TBM, as my full-time job. It's a, I fly for a private company. It's a really fun, rewarding career. I really enjoy it a lot. And getting to fly to new places up north here, was a lot is you know it was a lot of fun getting to expand your range to new places you know I don't come up to Minnesota very often I'm based out of South Florida so I do a lot of Caribbean flying and all down southeast United States one Tango Bravo contact Chicago Center one two seven 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 twenty seven seventy seven one Tango Bravo have a good day Chicago good afternoon TBM eight five one Tango Bravo two two eight climb to two nine zero number eight five one Tango Bravo Chicago Center welcome expect mostly smooth rides all right thank you. To give us a heads up, a mostly smooth ride is reported today. As you can see, I mean, it is a nice day. If you guys are thinking about becoming a pilot, it is definitely a very rewarding, fun career. You can check out my friend Jason Chapter, M0A.com. He has an online ground school that will help guide you through getting your ratings. Uh, it will be linked in the description below. i got a few friends that personally are lifetime members of him. They really enjoy it. I'll tell you what, I like flying up here in the Midwest. It's not as busy as airspace is down in South Florida. You get your climb right up to cruise altitude real quick and easy. No level level offs. Down in South Florida, you know all the aircraft coming in and out of Miami Center and you know Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale. You always get a lot of step ups. Here it's a lot easier because they can just climb you right up to your cruise altitude. Wow, we have a 110 knot wind right now coming off our right side. The winds aloft up here are very strong. Hopefully that wind will be more of a tailwind for us on this leg. I would not want to be having to go into a 110 knot headwind. But it looks like the forecast shows it should stay off the right side, maybe a little bit coming from behind us to push us along. It'll be interesting to see if we actually can see Chicago off in the distance as we get a little closer. We'll be off our left side. Keep an eye out for that. When it comes to my charts, I'm a track up type of guy. There's two types of people in this world as far as pilots, track up and north up. You look down here, see so you can see my track is what's going towards the top of my iPad. I like that orientation as when I'm looking at the iPad, the same orientation as what I'm looking out my window as far as if there's a storm cell or anything like that. If you're a north up type of guy, if you're looking like this. November 906, Southway, now the orientation to me is not the same as looking out the window as far as knowing straight ahead or 11 or 10 o'clock the storm. Now it's all off. So I don't know. It's, there's no real right or wrong way to uh, have a, your charts. But personally, I'm a track up type of guy. What are you guys that fly airplanes? Leave your comment in the description below. Are you guys a track up or a north up? All right, so here we are leveling off at flight level 290. Hey, Mark 2590 has now the nose of the airplane is going to come down on us. And then we'll let our airspeed build up. And that's when we'll pull the prop RPM back to 1900. And that is all we'll have to do to set cruise power. So we're at 160 knots right now, indicated just a little bit above. As you guys can see right over here, coming up at 170, watching that airspeed climb. And once it, uh, we get as much out of it as we can, contact Chicago Center, one tree, tree point three that's when we're going to pull back on the blue lever here with the prop RPM. That's basically just changing the pitch of the prop, and we're going to slow up the revolutions per minute from 2,000 back to 1,900. 
Pressurization is all caught up and stabilized. You look down here at the pressurization panel. You're going to see our cabin altitude is just under 9,000 feet with the PSI at about 5.9 and our cabin is just slightly climbing just still a little bit as you can see the uh, arrow on the left there just pointing a little bit above zero. The pressurization is doing what it's supposed to do. All right we are getting a good tail in with the, the turn we just had and our route we're currently going 324 knots across the ground. So that's a good thing. We got a good tailwind to get us to our destination a little faster. And now that our airspeed has increased and basically stabilized, just about 188 is what we're showing on our indicated airspeed. Now is where we're just going to pull back this prop RPM to 1900. By pulling the prop RPM back, it's basically just decreasing the noise level in the cabin to more of a comfortable level. There we go, got 1900 set up, 799 on the ITT. So now that we have cruise power set, everything's looking good, checked out. We'll sit back, relax, and I'll get back with you guys farther down the line. farther down the road here we've started to descent into Elizabethton going uh, 10,000 for 9,000 put the shoulder harnesses back on here and get ready to go to work I got the approach all briefed for the RNAV GPS runway 6 351 single Bravo contact Atlanta Center Christian we can get tried to the approach please on 125.5 125.5 one Tango Bravo have a good day okay. try to see approach good afternoon TBM 851 Tango Bravo 9,000 TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Tri-City Approach. Tri-City altimeter is 3000. Advise when you have the weather at Elizabethan and uh, what approach you would like. We're we'll getting the uh, weather now. We'll advise and we looked upon the request for the RNAV GPS for only six. No, we're 851 Tango Bravo. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, Roger. You can expect the uh, GPS 6. Roger, we'll expect the GPS 6. 1 Tango Bravo, thanks. We'll go over and get the weather here. Elizabethan Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, one niner two four Zulu. Wind, variable at four knots. Visibility, more than one zero. Sky condition, few at 3,800. Broken at 4,400. Broken at niner thousand five hundred. Temperature, 2, 4 Celsius. Dew point, 1, 9 Celsius. Altimeter, 2, 9 9 Inches of mercury. Remarks, density altitude, 3, 2, 0, 0. I see, no worry, 5, 1, Tango Bravo, we get the weather, Elizabeth. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, if you would, just stay on frequency for traffic advisors. So we're going to monitor Elizabeth Sin traffic contact, on COM 2 and we'll also be point. with uh, Tri-City here on COM 1. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, descend and maintain 6,000. So maintain 6,000, 1 Tango Bravo. 1 Tango Bravo, proceed direct taken. Direct taken, 1 Tango Bravo. All right, so we're going to go direct taken. thousand to go, setting down to six thousand feet. So it's overcast out here as you can see out the front window. And what's cool about the uh, app here, if you go to the airport tab and we can click on 3D view, this is going to be what we're going to be looking at. So we're coming in from over this direction and right down there is the runway. That's what we're going to be seeing. So we're going to, as you can see, we're going to have some hills to the right and to the left of the runway. Right at the tops of the overcast layer here. Hopefully we'll get some good views of the mountains coming in. I know this is not the mountains of the west coast of the United States, but as far as the east coast, five, these are considered south mountains. South turn right on course back, what we're doing right now is considered 
It's called cloud surfing. When you're right at the, uh, right, right at the tops of a layer. It's pretty fun. We'll make one announcement over here on CTAF. Elizabeth, you have a TBM. We're 20 miles to the north, northwest inbound. RNAV 6. Elizabeth, Flying single pilot, you have to multitask, you know, talk with the approach, also make your calls. Five Hotel Delta, climb and maintain one zero five. Actually, we're starting to get a good break in some of the clouds here. That'll be nice. TBM one Tango Bravo, cross cab, you want to add her about 5,300, cleared our nav, six approach, Elizabeth. Cross cab, you add her above 5,300, clear for the R nav, uh, only six, number 8500, Tango Bravo. All right, so we are cleared to cross cab, yeah. They're above 5,300, which is on the approach plate there. We'll descend on down to that. And we're cleared for the RNAV. Army 0 only six approach. Tri-City departure, radar contact, and... We're cleared uh, for the approach. We'll arm out. the approach. Oh, here we go, guys. Look at this. Look out the windows now. We're getting some views, actually. Army 236. There's right. Tri-Cities right off our left wing. I've been there a couple years ago. It's my second time coming into Elizabethton, and it's one of my favorite little airports. This airport is actually where... Unfortunately, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, had a latitude and they crashed off the end of the runway. I don't know what exactly happened, but yeah, this Elizabeth 10 is where that happened. If you look down here at the approach plate there, now you're going to see there we are coming in, blinking, going towards taking, and then next will be Cabia. Cool feature, good awareness of where you're at. Oh, look at the views out there, beautiful. I'm used to flying around the Caribbean and South Florida. All right, we're overtaken. The airplane is turning to Cabia. And we got five miles to Cabia. I'm gonna get 4,600 set up in the altitude pre-selector. As soon as we get over Cabia, we can start right on down to that. Pull the power back and get it set up for this approach. And I'm looking out the left window here, looking for the airport, see if we can get it ahead of time. Actually, I do have it out there in sight, in between the two little hills out there. All right, we're coming up. We're going to anticipate our turn in T minus eight Copter seconds. Three hotel Delta, Seven, city approach, six, zero four three five. Three, two, one. one there we go. To the Tri City Airport. Plane's doing what it's supposed to do. Go down to four thousand six hundred. We'll VS it. Copter three hotel Delta. This is our first step uh, down. Uh, inbound. Approach in runway 27, the wind 1306, yeah, beautiful altimeter 3000. Zero, zero. I'm glad that the clouds broke a little bit so we could get some good views. We're heading back to our final approach course here. Alright, now the airplane's going to be capturing this final approach course. And the airplane's doing a good job. And we're leveling out at 4,600. The next step down will be 3,700. Go down to that. And I do have the airport out there coming up under 12 o'clock. All right, two miles to go, so we'll put 3,700 in our altitude pre-selector. Oh, TBM-1 Tango Bravo, report the cancellation on 125.25, frequency change proof. 125.25, and uh, frequency change proof, 851 Tango Bravo, thanks. Okay, and we can now go down to 3,700. Elizabeth 10 TBM, we're on a 8 mile final for only 6. Elizabeth 10. I see a number 851 Tango Bravo, we can cancel the IFR field site. TBM 1 Tango Bravo cancellation received and squawk VFR frequency change proof. So long. I was squawking VFR and just wanted to confirm we can pick up the IFR with you on this frequency outbound. Hey, affirmative, you can leave. We've got that ready and uh, yeah, that frequency works pretty much anywhere there on the ground. All right, thanks for that. I'll talk to you a little bit. Tango Bravo. All right, we're free from here, squawking the VFR. I'm gonna go flap selected over the speed range, and one dot above, we're gonna go gear in transition. Flaps are indicated, and gear is down and indicated. Looking good, we're just gonna slow it up a little bit, we're still pretty fast. I'm gonna get to an approach speed of about 110 knots. Boy, look at the view out there. Hard not to get distracted with how nice that view is. 
We're looking good. We're right on the glide path and also right on the final approach course. Airplane's doing a good job with the autopilot. Actually going to disconnect the autopilot and uh, we will have a little hand fun hand flying it in. Cannot let the airplane have all the fun. Because runway is going to slope uphill just a little bit when coming in from this side. 500. That's 500 feet to the ground. Boy, the view out here is just amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite little airports to come into. So we're looking good, a little bit fast. It's okay though, we're gonna pull the power back here a little bit. Get that 110 on the speed. And I see the windsock. It looks like we do have a little bit of a red cross wind, but very light. Lift 10, TVM short final only six, lift 10. Go back to flight idle, got some birds we just went over. And there we are, our center line. Go back into reverse, nice smooth touchdown. I sometimes surprise myself. We'll get off at this taxiway right here. Elizabeth 10 TBM, we're clearing Rally 6. Uh, the taxiway Elizabeth 10. Alright, welcome to Tennessee, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that flight. It was a, definitely a fun flight to be on. If you did like that video, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. If you look down here at the iPad, you'll see there we are on the taxiway, Lincoln. Got a little airplane, that's pretty cool. TBM, this is Unicom. If you will take your next left and cross midfield, we'll have somebody park on the south side. Alright, thanks. We'll do that one time, brother. Right, that was the Unicom, the FBO. The FBO that we're going to use is over here off our left. Elizabeth 10 TBM, we're going to be crossing the runway over into the ramp. Elizabeth 10. Clear to the left, and clear to the right. The views out here are outstanding. And look at here, in front of us, we have a barn. <laughs> I remember the barn from the last time I was here. I was like, how unique is that? You don't see that in Miami very often. There's our marshaller right up in front of us. We'll follow his hand instructions in and we'll shut this down. I hope you guys are all doing good wherever you're watching from. Hope to see you guys again someday soon. Take care guys. Where the spirits go